in Google. Um, there's a lot of different sites you can do to make forms. Uh, another one I would recommend is Wufu. I'll let you try this one out on your own. This has a lot of nice features. I think they even have um, some e-commerce features and it's free so that's great. Um, but I want to focus on uh, Google for this example. Now I've logged into my Google Drive. Um, all you need to do is go to create over here on the left and go down to where it says form. The reason I really like Google Forms is because it will, it will record your data that you receive from the form from your visitors into a, a Google Docs file, which later on the semester when we talk about tabletop.js, we can actually do stuff with that data, which will be great. Um, they have a quick little walkthrough here, but I'm just gonna X out of this. Um, they have some different themes that we can use. Take a little time on your own and look through these. Um, I'm just going to put mine on default. And I'm just going to title this My Form. So I have my form right here. It allows me to set each different part of my form up at once. Now I'm just going to set up a basic contact form. Um, you might make forms for surveys, um, maybe something like the online newspaper, you might have a story idea form or anything along those lines. Um, but for this one, I'm just going to focus on a contact form. So for my first question, I'm just going to ask what their name is. So I'm just going to put a name. I don't need any helper text for this, but this is a nice thing. If maybe you want to guide uh, the user of how to answer a question or how to kind of work with a particular question, you can add some text here. Um, and then I can ask the question type. You can see there's a lot of different options, multiple choice, check boxes, choose from a list, which will all be great for surveys and that kind of stuff. But for this one, I'm just going to select text. The big thing for what we're doing here is to remember that text is just a single line of text. Paragraph text is just a larger block. So I'm going to select text. Um, and I'm also going to require this because if I have a contact form, I want to know for sure who submitted it. So I'm going to force them to put their name. Um, so I'm all set with this one, and I'm going to add another one, and this one's going to be email. So for this one, I'm also going to keep it text, and I'm going to require this one too because I want to be able to email them back. Done. I'm going to add one more, and it's going to be the message. And for this one, like I mentioned before, I'm going to select paragraph text, so I get that larger block here and I'm gonna require this one also. You don't have to require things, but just kind of think through them. You know, for a contact form, maybe I wanna add another um, form, or excuse me, another space for a phone number, but I might not necessarily need to require that phone number. So that'd just be an example where I would add that, and I don't need to keep it. Or I don't need to require it, excuse me. Okay, so this is just a very basic form, name, email, message. Um, I can go back here, I can have a couple different options. Uh, show link to submit another response, I don't need that because I'm just going to want one response. Um, publish and show a link of the results of this form. I don't want to do that because that's just going to be a contact. I may want to use that if I do some sort of survey or poll. Um, allow responders to edit responses after submitting. It's not really necessary for this form either. Um, and the one other thing to note is that after they can they fill out the form and this is the message that will pop up to them as a confirmation. That's fine for me. You can of course change it to whatever you want. Um, and then looking over I'm all set. I'm going to hit send form. And once again just like in the um, just like in the embedding tutorial uh, we get an option for a link which this could be really nice if you want to email a form questionnaire out to a group of people it's going to be a great way to do this, and once again, like I mentioned, is that once they fill it out, it'll create data in a new Google Docs form for us, so I can analyze all that data at once. Um, but instead of doing that, I want to embed this on my website, so I'm just going to click here, hit embed, and I can change the width. I'm just going to leave it for what it is right now, but that might be, that might be something you need to change when you're actually working on your website design. So I'm going to just take this. Copy, hit done. I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. See, I set up a little contact me space on my website. And I'm just going to go over to the code side. 
highlight the space where I want to put it, paste my code, hit refresh, and I'm just going to save this and preview in browser just to make sure it works. There you go. So now I have a form embedded on my website for people to contact me. And if you have any other questions, let me know.